so transition started here in in Totnes, like transition did, and then it kind of grew here, and then started to go off to other places. What did what does the spread of of, of reconomy from transition moving out look like? Where has it gone, and, and how has it grown? Yeah, it's it's followed quite an interesting track because um, we know that it's already been happening in a number of places anyway, whether they call it reconomy or not. And then we see some of the more kind of mature established transition initiatives have turned their attention more to economic issues. So they've kind of officially started a reconomy project, if you like. And others have been busy doing things like um, local currencies or shop local campaigns or something like that. Um, so it looks quite different in different places. And I think what's different is perhaps the scale of ambition. So the places that have been going for longer and are more established are more in a position to connect with the councils and with local business associations and take on something more systemic and others that are at an earlier stage are starting more slowly. And, and that's in the UK. And then internationally, we've been working with 10 other countries now with 10 of the national hubs. Uh, which has been fascinating because they've been coming at it from more of a how might a national hub support the emergence of economy in Mexico or Brazil or Germany or Portugal. And and all of them are so different because the contexts are very different. So, yeah, it's really interesting to see those differences emerging. So you've you've been following the spread of it and you've visited lots of places that are doing reconomy and you've you've been to lots of projects. And out of all of those reconomy enterprises and projects that are starting up, are there maybe three that come to mind as ones that you feel best capture that kind of concept? Hmm. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to name names because they all have something you know, fantastic and unique about all of them. But I think generally what I've seen that that tends to happen is some kind of um, community energy company is a place where a lot of a lot of transition groups start with something. And um, and that that provides so many things. So it provides the experience of setting up a whole new type of doing a whole new way of doing business and having to look at the legal issues and the financial responsibilities, which is quite a shift for a number of those groups. And it unlocks the whole thing about community participation because they can come and actually invest in it and get a return for it. So it's a great demonstration of how we can challenge the current ways of doing business in a way that gets people involved and excited and and passionate. And it makes perfect sense to people. So I love those. I think they're great. Um, I like uh, the, you know, the local currencies are always fantastic because, again, people just get excited about them and they're very accessible and uh, creative and imaginative and they they demonstrate again a new way of doing things and I think the other thing that I like although I'm kind of biased because I was involved in the work is around um, some of the more systemic work like an economic blueprint where you're building partnerships with local stakeholders you're doing analysis of the local economy and the opportunities and collaboratively coming up with a plan with these other stakeholders to to transform the local economic system. So, and the scale of that is much bigger and it's, you know, it's harder, but it's it's also more systemic. It's got more impact potential to it. But each of those three examples, all are impactful in different ways. But what's common is, is they're challenging the way that we do things at the moment. For me, one of the best sort of uh examples for me is actually seeing what's happening here in in Tottenham actually with the local currency and the uh, the food stuff that's happening in the local entrepreneurs forum and Atmos Totnes and transition homes you know there's where you start to get a sense of um of the importance not only of catalyzing lots of enterprises but having a narrative that strings them all together and then feeling part of a bigger story than feeling part of a kind of uh, of a growing uh, uh, interconnected story yeah. which uh, and you know you start to see that in other places now in Brixton and mm. Liège and places where where that, that economy thinking is underpinning how they're starting to uh, pull all that together as you say with things like the economic blueprint that gives the rationale underneath it and that feels to me like something that you can really see being very replicable, having a, 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 the thinking underneath it, but also the, the case studies and the examples on top that then start to roll out and support each other and build a momentum.